People have experienced earthquakes, so you hear them before you feel them. Everyone in this newsroom knew what was coming. But even for a country that's used to this sort of thing, it's the panic that's impossible to resist. Safety. And this is a look once again at Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture. And it looks like a tsunami has been engulfing, engulfing the port. Everyone in Japan knows something else too, because an earthquake just off the coast will have consequences. All the same, this was something else entirely. We've been reporting earlier on that the, the meteorological agency has issued a warning for tsunami up to six meters deep, uh, six meters high, and this is what's happening right as we speak. This is from our camera reporter in Miyagi. And it looks and it looks like the tsunami has engulfed several cities. Images yet more terrifying emerge from the same Pacific coast. The huge tide just appears to eat anything in its path. Look at the road. Look how tiny the cars are. from 7.9, one of the worst earthquakes ever in Japanese history. In fact, it's the seventh most powerful earthquake in recorded history. None of the other six were in areas anything like as populated as this. Japanese Prime Minister appeared on TV to put into play a plan they'd rehearsed for years. We will secure the safety of the people of Japan and in order to minimize the damage, the government will make every effort possible. And we ask the people of Japan to continue to be cautious and vigilant and keep tuned in to the reports on the television and radio and we ask the people of Japan to act calmly. Prefectural police say at least 44 people have been confirmed dead so far as we have reported. The sheer weight of water made it impossible at times to work out what was land and what sea. Other pictures suggested desperate efforts by sailors unlucky enough to be at sea when the tsunami struck. This pleasure boat found itself in danger of being sucked down a huge whirlpool. Ships, cars, heavy containers all bobbed around in the port like toys in a bath. Everywhere down the eastern seaboard of Japan, images which show how enormous the economic and social damage of this will be. This is the airport at Sendai, population one million. People who escaped to the roof found themselves trapped, surrounded by a giant inland sea. In, Takada City, two were found dead. in places and where the water began to recede, city, little scenes illustrated quite her, how devastating all this will prove to have been. And as apart from the 12 confirmed dead, uh, police say that uh, there are many uh, dead in, uh, in Yamadama town. And as day turned to night, the oil refineries which had erupted in flames throughout the day led to fires spreading through residential areas. March the 11th, 2011 will go down in history in this country. All the planning in the world couldn't have foreseen something quite as extraordinary, quite as devastating as what Eastern Japan is going through now. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera.